Okay, I'll just show you how to use Apple CarPlay in this 2017 Range Rover 5 litre. Apple CarPlay, th this car's got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, sat-nav. Apple CarPlay is the best thing. This is wired Apple CarPlay. So if I put my charging lead in there, in one of these two ports in here, and then Jeff buys cars. We just wait. You see, Apple CarPlay comes up here. And remember this. It's important to do this. Otherwise, every time you get in, you're going to have to do the same. You're going to have to connect your Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay. So remember for this device, just watch it. Apple CarPlay with Range Rover while phone is locked. Important. Otherwise, you're going to have to touch your phone every time you want to do something. And here we go. Don't have to touch this anymore. So that's Apple CarPlay there. You can do anything with Apple CarPlay. It's absolutely brilliant. But before I do that, what I will show you is this is a bit of a pain. I mean, you know, I mean, there's just nowhere to put your phone. Um, you end up putting it here. You're not supposed to touch it or you, you stick it in the cup holder or inside inside there. I mean, that, that's my phone is too long for that. So I'll end up smashing the screen. But a very nice company have sent me this CarPlay adapter box and I have to say it's brilliant so just watch this it's got Apple CarPlay in we've done the the done it through the lead that's it it's just got a USB there now some Range Rovers you can't fit this in because it's too close to the side and it, it needs to be that should be over here but it's not so what I do I've got, just bought this adapter lead, so now this will fit in any car. So all I have to do is put that in there like so, plug this in, like that, Oop. plug it in like so, get your phone, just wait. Now what I probably need to do is go to settings, go to settings and then watch out at the bottom, wait for something to happen. Is this showing? You see, we've got green lights there. Now it's come up, look. Use iPhone Bluetooth Connect to AI Box. Bluetooth pairing request, pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Allow, with a bit of luck, this should change in a second. Use CarPlay, use CarPlay. There you go, Apple CarPlay. It's now got Bluetooth, Apple. That, I'm sure it's only about 30 quid. It's worth its weight in gold. As soon as you get in the car, it will automatically connect to your Bluetooth now. Now I'll show you how good Apple CarPlay is. It's fantastic. So where's the voice control on here? Voice control on here. Two seconds. Navigate to Manchester Airport. Getting directions to Manchester Airport. I, you see there, go buttons come up. You don't have to touch it because you've told it and it will assume that you actually want to go there. You're on your way to Manchester Airport. You want to stop off somewhere. Take me to Costa Coffee. One possibility is Costa Coffee on Queen Street in Preston. It adds nine minutes to your route. Is that the one you want? Yes, please. Getting directions to Costa Coffee. So it's going to take me to Costa Coffee first and then to Manchester Airport. It's, it's, and you can do that with if you've got a pickup, if you're stopping on the way. But the main thing is you can be driving down the motorway and you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You just tell your phone or you, you tell us through voice activation. You want to play a track? Um, two seconds. Shuffle music. Shuffling all songs from Apple Music. So I'll just put it onto Apple Music here. I'll just change it. So that that's playing the Beatles there. You want to play a specific track? Two seconds. Play Cold Little Heart. Now playing Cold Little Heart. Radio edit by Michael Kiwanuka on Apple Music. 
So you can play on the individual track. It's absolutely fantastic. But again, it doesn't end there. It's such a good system. Two seconds. Call Barry. Calling Barry, iPhone. So it's calling me. Hi, this is Barry. Sorry, I can't take your call at the moment. So that was me. So it's called me. You want to send a text. Again, you're driving along the road. You, you remember something, you want to send a text. So two seconds. Text Barry. What would you like to say to Barry? Just testing this Range Rover 5 litre and the Apple CarPlay in it. It's absolutely brilliant. It says, just testing this Range Rover 5L and the Apple CarPlay in it, it's absolutely brilliant. Do you want to send it or it, change it? Send, please. Done. So, so it's sent. Now, you'll see there, A, that's come up on my phone, but I can't touch my phone. Messages. We've got one message there. Again, I... I <coughs> If I touch that, it will, it will read it to me. But I don't have to touch it. Voice activation, two seconds. Read messages. Barry said, just testing this Range Rover 5L and the Apple CarPlay in it, it's absolutely brilliant. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. Play Audible. I'll need to access your Audible data to use the app. Is that OK? Yes. The Running Grave by Robert Galbraith now playing on Audible. Prologue. All individuals are not equal. So that's Audible. And, and then you've got all the rest of the things. It's uh, <coughs> Amazon Music. We've got Spotify. YouTube mu Music. You can access any of those while you're driving without actually doing anything, without touching your phone. Your phone can be in your pocket. Uh, so it's all thanks to Apple CarPlay and this little device, CarPlay adapter box. And you can also get it for the USB-C socket. So brilliant. 